Uh, you gave a detailed speech at the Bohemian Grove Club, sir, which hopefully has mock child sacrifices. Let me, let me say, let me say that please. I was very pleased. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. It was a good debate. Uh, what about the Bohemian Grove Club, though, sir? Uh, That's very important. They, they do mock human sacrifices there, sir, and you reported being I was, there. I was very pleased with my performance in the debate. I think it's evidence that uh, we are a top-tier candidate. I talked about the most relevant issues, jobs, education, uh, health care, not just uh, in the minority community, but nationally. I believe that a robust economy is going to lift America out of poverty. And I believe education is the key, paying our teachers better, making our schools better. So you're going to file several you know my questions. questions sir. Can we have I'm going to ignore dialogue? your question. If you want to be president, let's have an open dialogue about it. You just ignored me, sir. It's not nice. How would it be possible to raise the expectations? I the president, you ignored me. Well, we have to. We have to. You can't raise science and math. We've got to improve our performance in science and math. We need to find ways to create science and math academies. We've got to have art in the schools. We've got to have a stronger national curriculum. Making our making our schools stronger. Well, better. You know, it's the key to a no, better economy oh, and to deal with problems affecting minorities in this country. Mr. Richard, Richard, you gave a keynote speech, sir. What's more question, sir, please? You gave a keynote speech at the Bohemian Grove Club and before. Sir, answer my question. What were you, what was your business then when they ship in male prostitutes, sir? That's a fact, sir. Don't ignore me. What did you do at the Bohemian Grove, sir? There was a surprising development in the summer of 2005. A Bohemian Grove employee decided to videotape some of the activities in the Grove and to give us the footage. The footage you're seeing was shot on a tiny digital camera, so the quality isn't the best, but the images are powerful. The individual that gave us this footage asked that we not release their name. Our source was able to confirm what we had seen in internal Bohemian Grove documents and annals, that the elite of the elite attend the Grove. Our source personally saw New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson in attendance, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, the famous newsman Walter Cronkite, and countless other luminaries. Without giving away the identity of our source, we can tell you this. The most elite encampment within the Grove is Mandalay. Other members of the Grove were not even allowed to approach within a hundred yards of this compound swarming with secret service, valets, private French cooks, and private security men. In the compartmentalized system of the New World Order, Mandalay is an elite within an elite, at the very top of the pyramid's capstone. Most people don't know the Order of Skull and Bones at Yale is simply one chapter in a larger global organization known by many as the Illuminata. Its symbol is a skull and crossbones and the number 322. Skull and Bones is the name used by the uninitiated or non-members. The true name of the organization is the Order of Death. Adolf Hitler belonged to the Fool Society as well as the Thule Society. Both groups trace their lineage back to the Order of Death founded in 1776 in Ingolstadt University in Bavaria, Germany. Then, of course, it spread to the U.S. with the founding of Skull and Bones. President Taft was a prominent member of Skull and Bones, and in 1900, he became the first president to visit Bohemian Grove in Northern California, a satellite of Skull and Bones, the internal annals of the Bohemian Grove, a publication only given to members. And in it, we see pictures of George W. Bush and his father, Newt Gingrich, all of these different famous individuals there at the Grove. Walter Cronkite, Jimmy Carter, Jack Kemp, Richard Milhouse Nixon. For three generations, the Bushes have been members of Skull and Bones. And for three generations, they've traveled to Northern California and the Bohemian Grove. There are many prominent foreigners, like German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt, Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon are pictured here. Schwarzenegger is a reported visitor, as well as former President Jimmy Carter. The Grove is dominated by Republicans, but the Grove has its share of high-powered Democrats as well. Then there's Bill Clinton, 
a frequent attendee. The entire federal government at the highest levels is infested with Bohemian Club members. America's private run-for-profit Federal Reserve Bank from its very inception in 1913 has been run by prominent members of the Bohemian Club. Dark secrets inside Bohemian Grove. Details how world leaders from across the planet meet every July and actually engage in mock human sacrifices to the Canaanite deity Molech. They bring a bound body in an effigy of a child and sacrifice it to the idol. And incredibly, most of those in attendance are our supposed Christian conservative leaders. There are three major icons used in the cremation of care ritual. Moloch, the owl idol, the curved staff carried by the high priest, and the eternal flame lamp, the Arabian style lamp, which the priest uses to ignite his torch, which he then uses to burn the human effigy care. I was able to get out of the cult compound with this program cover from the cremation of care. And right on the front, where a child would be burned, they had photoshopped in the image of a skeleton burning in the flames. Here is a November 1989 issue of Spy Magazine. The Grove released photos of themselves dancing around dressed like women. And in the article, they admit that they do mock human sacrifices. The article went on to show artist renditions of the Moloch idol, as well as discussing how they bus in male prostitutes and how AIDS was a big problem. Then a New York Post article in July of 2004 reported how a top gay porn star serviced the moguls at the Bohemian Grove. What purpose does this all serve, having world leaders congregate and engage in an ancient Canaanite ritual of mock child sacrifice? It's a way of binding them together. If your neighbor was engaging in mock human sacrifices to Moloch, the demon idol that was worshipped all over the Mediterranean and the Middle East, would you let that neighbor walk your dog or house sit or how about babysit your children? or be in control of the nuclear launch codes. Well, let me give you a revelation. They are in control of the national deficit, of Congress, of your bank account, of your local police department, and they see you as cattle, as their slaves. Their religion is the science of sophistry, the science of the con artist, the science of the despot, the dictator, the tyrant, the controller, the charlatan, the liar. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. They are parasites. They are anathema to free, dynamic human societies. Know your enemy. Stand up for love and life and family and resist the New World Order and the Babylonian slave state our enemies are attempting to construct.